Hey guys, Marco Flores here with Nern the Bay. And we're checking out a game called Fastlane Road to Revenge. Now this game is very music heavy. So I'm going to do my best to talk as much as possible without getting this video flagged. Uh, <laughs> so as you can see, it basically looks like Spy Hunter. If you ever played the game Spy Hunter on the uh, NES and like I think they've been on other consoles because uh, they made future games uh, but yeah if you ever played the game Spy Hunter it kind of looks like that you're you're a car um, shooting your way through the roads you know protecting yourself basically there's a little bit of a backstory kind of thrusting you right into it saying like oh my goodness you're alive like I guess you were taken out by maybe some enemies or maybe some former friends so this is what you're doing right now. You're kind of getting back into like a prominent status and whatever you were doing. Maybe you were like a huge crime underboss or something and uh, you got taken out. So this is what you're doing now. You're just shooting your way through, um, shooting your way through cars. Um, interesting here, thing here is that when you let go, uh, the, the way you need to, the way you play is basically you hold down you hold down a finger on the screen and then you like you move side to side, right? You swipe side to side in a sense. Or not swipe, but you hold down side to side. In this, uh, when you let go, uh, it slows down. So it's kind of like a, a semi-pause menu, but it's like a slow-mo slow -mo mode. You'll see it from time to time, or especially when you start playing the game. So the, the name of the game here is basically... Uh, survive as as long as possible to you, you can get to whatever the boss is for that stage. So now we're here in the basically the the shop menu. Uh, we're gonna be basically buying some armor, some armor, and um, hopefully some machine gun uh, upgrades. Uh, so you can last longer, of course, and you know uh, take out enemies faster. So this is what we're gonna be doing. So we're going to Oxford Street. And taking out this guy, saying, you're back, big deal, I own this place now. So I need to basically, like, if you ever played, like, a, a runner game or whatever, but you need to go a certain distance before you can meet this boss. And the, so, the, you know, the, for this entire video, this is what I'm trying to do. So you basically start off slow. You're shooting your way. And as you're holding down the button, uh, holding down the screen uh, with your finger and you're swiping or, you know, uh, swiping left to right, uh, you're constantly shooting. So once you let go, that's when the slow down pause thing happens. So you do want to uh, make sure your lane is clear. You know, you're not taking any sort of damage. Um, you want to hit those explosion container trucks so it can cl clear out like a good like space of area, but not, be sure not to be too close to it. So as you progress through the stage, it gets faster and faster. More cars are showing up. More obstacles are coming. So you need to make a, like good choices. And then there are also going to be cars that's going to shoot back at you. And there's also rival cars, um, rival cars uh, that are other players, but you know you're not playing them in real life in real time. It's basically like their ID, and then they show up, and then you you take them out for like extra bonus points. So now we have higher rep, and it keeps telling me it's better with sound because there's I think there's a lot of music in this uh, game uh, for for whatever reason. Um, I mean, sure, it, it it boosts the production of your game, but it, when you're trying to make a video like this, uh, it can get flagged in a sense. But hopefully, we're doing a good job about it. Let's see, so what's next? So the jobs are basically. You see, the jobs in the beginning is basically what you see is like um, achievements or like missions that you can do um, that you know get you more like more rewards in a sense. So yeah, like go go a certain number of distance or take out a certain number of enemies or take out the boss stuff like that. So doing double points, getting double machine gun, um, money gets dropped, uh, stronger like temporary power up of your gun gets dropped uh magnets get dropped so once you get the magnet then 
all the like the items are gonna be coming to you. There's like a fast, like a, a speed boost shield sense in a sense. So you can basically like plow through the enemies, and it helps because you know when you're trying to close distance on a on a boss, then it definitely does help. And there goes the truck. <laughs> so yeah, um, you're gonna be you're gonna keep continuing to keep playing, keep closing in the distance, and it gets harder too because you know. I'm still at like the basic car, and I'm, and then I'm, I'm getting like getting hit left and right. And I don't know if you noticed, but on the top left is basically your health bar. So you do actually need to keep an eye on that. And then you know, if you want to continue, it costs like a diamond. And you know, you know me, I don't want to, I don't want to use up my premium currency. So I want to save that up for, like something that either I want to get or, or for something else, uh, maybe a premium character or sense or stuff or a car. In this in this instance but as you level up and uh, get towards uh, oh if, as you get more experience you get like this round circle of like rewards so like the very end is basically a new car and that's what we're working towards getting a, a faster car a stronger car a car with better machine guns but in the meantime you're gonna be upgrading these cars anyway so maybe I want to get like and additional guns which cost like five diamonds so I need to save up those diamonds to, to until I can get those cars I'm sorry and get until I can get those uh, extra gun power-ups so I'm looking now showing that I'm in first place in my local area I'm just looking through the menus now and you know you can buy you could buy the power you could buy the temporary power-ups um, maybe if you buy these temporary power-ups, it has a more lasting effect than as you would just getting the power-ups in, in the game. And here, it, it was a little weird because it was showing portraits, like, I guess what portraits I want to use. But, you know, going to put my name in, of course. I don't want to be guessed a bunch of numbers for the rest of my life, you know. So, here we are. And I... I guess I was looking for somebody that looks remotely like me, or maybe just somebody with a bald head. Who knows? I kind of wanted to go with the dog, but I was like, yeah. Then I saw YouTube faces. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so I guess I just went with that. And so, um, on the top left on the menu, you have uh, a certain number of tries um, before that gets refilled over time. So I think you're as of right now as you see as you see like I only have like five tries to uh, continue to keep playing. So now I'm looking at the jobs a little bit, and I'm back in it. So um, as you upgrade your uh, as you upgrade your guns, your armor, you're gonna do much better. And then um, once you continue to progress, you get that better car, and then you do the same thing all over again. So now I'm like kind of going crazy, crazy, just trying to take out as many enemies as possible but I got taken out by a barricade so I got a little bit of experience but not enough to do any sort of or actually maybe I got enough to do a level oh yeah yeah got a level okay so now my next level is the next the next car so uh, I want to do good I want to do better so the next one would be banger broadside banger so eventually um, yeah, that's what you're going to be doing as you progress in level at the end of that, that circle bar is getting the better car and then upgrading those weapons and armor from there on and then hopefully get to the boss. So I'm doing okay, doing okay. It's in the beginning stage, so it's slow. Getting those power-ups, getting the cash. Got to get the money, got to get the cash, got to get the money, got to get the cash. Getting magnets now, so... Now the money's gonna come to me, so keep getting the magnets, so I can always get those any kind of any kind of items can continue to come to me. Arrival shows no car, but you take them out again. Like I said, extra points, three exclamation points. I'm getting missiles being shot at me. Now it's getting faster. Now, at this point, I'm trying to take out as many enemies as possible, but the smart thing is like just stay in one lane. Um, just stay in one lane because you know when it gets this hectic you don't want to just 
you're not going to be able to get all the items. You're not going to be able to hit all the cars and stuff. So just stay in one lane and try to protect, protect yourself. Because, because again, we're trying to get to the boss. And that's not going to help if I have a health bar. And I'm getting hit, getting hit left and right. <clears throat> so we got some good rep. And we're going to, I guess, level up some more. Get that banger. Hell yeah. Get the banger. Um, level 11 now. Got the banger available. So he says get the car. And then we're going to get the car. So, go get the car. Oh, we got like free diamonds. So that yeah, now we get we now we got the car. Now we got to upgrade it to where we were. But if you can't afford it, it costs like diamonds. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna earn our way through the game. As soon as I can get to the next level, I have no idea what's coming to them. Like this girl, this girl's pretty loyal. So like I gotta give this to her. Looking like Sasha Banks and stuff, with the pink hair and such like that. All right, so let's see. Let's see how this car fares. You know, it'll, I'm pretty sure they'll do better than the basic car that we started with. I can tell it's a little. It's more more of an improvement because I'm taking out enemies faster. And it, as you can see on the top right of this of this screen, it shows how much distance uh, you need to get to the boss. And so, like, I'm closing in on on this guy. Or actually, no, I'm not closing in. This is this is my current best record, I guess. And then I think I think after after uh, I beat that record, then it shows the boss and like how closer I need to be to get to him. So again, trying to stay in one lane because things are going really fast. I do want to get the explosions just so I, the items can pop out and get them. But now I got to deal with like these cars that shooting back. Which sucks. But I earned my way. Or I keep running my way, so that's fine. I took out some rivals. There you go. Rivals actually jump you in level, so. Got new high rep score, which is always good. Get that. Get a level 12. Completed a job. I completed a job, so now... We're going to see what job I completed. And there's only three jobs available after a certain number of time. Or, like, number of, like, minutes and hours and stuff. Or a certain, like, certain time of the day. So I have four hours left until the next mission or job. And so this truck right outside is kind of hindering me from my recording. But I think it'll help me because, again, the music in this game, so... <laughs> Thank you, truck. All right. So, let's see. Locally, I'm in first place. Globally, you know, we'll see how that looks. Now, so, we're going to get back into it again. And it's easy It's easy to just jump back into these games. Uh, but then again, you only have five or so energy, uh, like, max. So, you know. If you're really hardcore into it, you'll probably use up all your energy and then you have to wait. But like usually in the beginning stages, they'll give you like too much energy. And then like, yeah, and then you just keep playing for a good while until your too much energy becomes like just enough energy. Now the missiles are getting uh, more difficult to avoid because they're hitting, they're hitting all sides. But like I said, this is... It, doesn't this remind you of like a uh, a spy hunter? Oh yeah, there was a spy hunter game with the rock. I remember that. And this was supposed to be a movie. Uh, wasn't there a movie with, with spy hunter too? Anyways, I'm just remembering this stuff. But yeah, used to play used to play the Nintendo game a lot. Um, trying to progress through spy hunter and trying to get a better car. Actually, I was trying to I was trying to progress to get the different vehicle. I think in the Nintendo game, you start off with the car. And then, and then you eventually you you transfer to the boat, and then you you know you, I guess you go back and forth with the car and the boat. 
<clears throat> you can get like additional bonus rewards by watching videos, of course. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna keep playing. We do as play, playing through this game. Like I was trying, I'm trying to get to this boss and show you, like, hey, we can do it. We can do it. But like I'm playing like a lot of games and like oh man it's getting difficult. But I guess you know you need to be uh, like up as upgraded as much as possible because um, I'm taking hits and I can't take out all these enemies all at once. Except if there's like a, you know a container truck. So gotta avoid the missiles. Avoid the missiles there. And I was trying to get the um, the avoid five missiles uh, job, but it wasn't. It wasn't um, coming through unless I really need to avoid them in like super last second, which may be the thing. So I'm, I'm avoiding missiles, and I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. But anyways, a lot of missiles are being shot now because I guess I'm closing in faster on the boss now. More now, like a faster pace is starting to like show up and cars that are shooting back and again my health meter and yeah again a lot of things to consider but in this base and I got hit by a missile jeez <clears throat> in, in this base of the game it is a runner it's a runner to its nature so new high rep I got better rep now which is cool alright level 13 alright let's see what's next I think, oh, I get to activate UAV drones? What? Okay, okay. So she's gonna help us out by a loot box. So we're gonna open that up and see what we're gonna get. Missile launcher UAV drones. Interesting. Oh yeah, <laughs> Kool-Aid, okay. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we can upgrade it, which we will, because we want we want assistance to be uh, well adept and well equipped. So we're gonna delve to it right now. Hopefully, we can get to the boss. All right, here we go. So the let's see. Oh yeah, okay. They don't show up right off the bat. I believe it's probably <coughs> it is probably an item that you need to get. Hopefully we can get soon. Let's see. All right, we're boosting. We're boosting. Taking out a rival. Get that XP. And another rival appears. We should have taken those out. Three missiles on the way. Move. Move. Money. Money. There you go. Doing better. Okay, that's the drone icon. So now we have a dr we have two drones. Okay. So. Yeah, oh, man, this look like this looks like Gradius now. You have two drones helping you out. Oh, now one. Oh, now there's none. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, drones are now available. Or UAVs are now available. So you want to make sure you grab those, upgrade them as fast as possible, as much as possible, I think, so you can have active shooting on your sides. Make sure they don't they don't get taken out as well. So now, I am. Closing in on the distance, I believe, on the boss. There you go. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. All right. He has a lot of guns. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Start to shoot. And I got, sh I got shot. Oh, well, that's it for the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.